Can you share your testimony with the church? Uh, a testimony I'm uh, Since 2016, I apply a bursary. My testimony goes like this. Since 2016, I've been applying for a bursary. I was not receiving any SMS to approve my bursary. Uh, 2017 I apply a food still same thing happened 2017 I applied again and the same thing happened I was rejected and of God we are busy my student I apply a bazaar mara and I respond I remember the man of God Apostle God and father called people who have applied for bazaars but they were rejected to come forward I was one of those people who were in the queue and then the man of God Apostle God and father prayed for us uh, still and then I was still waiting for that SMS. This year footing a applier. This year I applied again. Um, Monday bank sent the SMS you get and since 2016. They sent me a message to approve my bazaar. Come on, somebody clap hands for Jesus. You can do better than that. Celebrate Jesus. You said since 2016 you have been applying for a bursary without any, up, up, they were not approving it. Is that correct? Yes. And then you were prayed for by the men of God, Apostle God, Son, and Father, and then you received the bursary this year. Yes. And then you said that the bursary said they will cover your, the whole two years that you were studying. Yes. They are going to cover the whole two years that you were studying. Yes. You are actually saying that you were studying, but you were owing because yes. you, you did not have fi finance. Is that correct? Yes. So you were busy applying for a bursary so that you can pay yes. the debt of two years. Yes. So you received the bursary this year that is willing to cover your debt of two years. Yes. Come on, somebody, clap hands for Jesus. You can do better than that. Just celebrate our God. <laughs> Hallelujah. So now your debt is settled. You are going to go to school for free. Yes. So what word of encouragement can you give to viewers who are watching at home and also the church, especially students who have been applying for bursaries but they are rejected? What can you say to them? I just want to say to students all over the world, don't give up. Keep on applying. At the end, you will get the buzzer. Let's let hands for Jesus. My sister, we as Tabernacle Church of Jesus Christ International, we rejoice with you. As God has done this miracle for you, as you've seen the bazaar being released and your, 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 your school fees being settled, we just want to give the word of encouragement. Continue to make the word of God a standard for your life so that the blessing you receive will remain permanent in Jesus' name. Viewers all over the world, just watch your screen. You can see that's a proof of the SMS that she received from Nesfas. It's going to pay her, 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 her tuition fees, everything is being paid for to the glory of God. Let's clap hands for Jesus. Can you please tell us your name and where you are coming from? My name is Doris. I'm coming from Madikoni section. Can you share your testimony with the church? My testimony goes like this. I work at a supervisor where I'm working. And uh, I was not, not happy because super uh, sim production over us and told. I wasn't happy because one of the managers didn't like me. Over to Zulako complain already in and I hold a period with the supervisor. They always complain that the salary that I get is more than what other supervisors are getting. So Nandamana Zore and Gore at Trungatina Future Company Dambu the Tumblaya Car Department of Health in Gorunda Danesi. Then I started applying to Department of Health as I have studied nursing. In my Sunday, in the day, the Chief Dabaker in the Corabel or Mzimu says, Window is at the CV, the Combler and Gamande, Bam Beads. One of the Sundays, I came here and as I was praying, I told my God that as I have uh, distributed my CVs all over, please, Father, make it a point that they call me back. Dambo de Manduko, this are a tight pand. Then I came to offer my tithe. Apostle Bambudim, prophesy. Then the man of God, Apostle God, so Nefari gave me a word of prophecy. Bambudi, sorry, do you know that the way you are working, you, are, you have a great future? And then he asked me that, do you know that you have a great future where you are working? I was not happy with that uh, prophecy because in the so I future. I, I was not happy with the prophecy because I wasn't happy where I was working. So I, in my mind, I asked myself, how can I be happy? 
since that, since that prophecy, things started to change. For Jesus, clap hands for Jesus. If, if, if we heard you correctly, you said that you were mis mistreated at work. Is that correct? That's true. And then you said that you even wanted to quit because you applied somewhere. Yes, that's true. And then the man of God came to you and he gave you a prophecy. He said, do you know that you have a great future where you are working? That's true. And you said that you were not happy because, you, because of the situation that was happening. You did not even see a great future there. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, then what happened after? And then after that, only your manager one of us and told the atomore ana problem achieve it and already move to second problem. The same manager who didn't like me when they experienced a problem, they would call me to resolve that problem. Come on, somebody clap hands for Jesus. <laughs> you saying now the very same manager that that was mis, uh, uh, mistreating you after you received the prophecy when she was having a situation, she would call you to help her. That's true. Wow, let's clap hands for Jesus. You can continue with your testimony. And then last month he called me. Last month he called me. I was on Ghana Mail. Yes. He called me. I was on night shift. I'm Budisauri, senior manager of safety. I'm for Nina. I'm under the eye. I'm near CV Yang. He asked me if the senior manager for safety has called me, and then I said no. And then he said that. He gave that uh, manager my CV. Since that day, they didn't say anything. And then uh, I called Mama. I called the woman of God. And then I explained my situation to her. And uh, she told me that the position is mine. Day, day before yesterday, they called me in the office. Barika nebari utomanga mande machero. They called me day before yesterday that starting from tomorrow. Archa the dobanda shumasa supervisor ka production. I won't be a supervisor at production. Bakom promote and go shuma clinic. They are promoting me to work at a clinic. Come on, somebody celebrate Jesus. So as actually when you are there, you are actually there to, 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 to confirm that what the man of God said is true when he said that you are having a great future. Now you receive the promotion. That's true. Come on, somebody clap hands for Jesus. In your testimony, you said that the very same manager who was uh, uh, mistreating you is the one who took your CV and gave to another manager at another department. That's true. Come on, somebody clap hands for Jesus. You can do better than that. Just celebrate Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. So now you receive the promotion. Yes. What word of encouragement can you give to viewers who are watching at home and the church, especially those who are facing situations at their workplace and they receive a word from a man of God? What can you say? concerning that I can say to them they must not undermine the prophets from men of God and then to have faith in God hallelujah let's clap hands for Jesus <laughs> so when are you starting on a new position I'm starting tomorrow and I'm not gonna work in night shift anymore it's Monday to Friday and then no more Sunday and then on Saturday Come on, somebody clap hands for Jesus. Remember, remember the prophecy said, Do you know that you have a great future in that company? Hallelujah. She was working night shifts, but right now she will be working day shifts only. She's no longer working on weekends. On Sunday, she'll be here at church. Come on, somebody clap hands for Jesus. My sister, we as Tabernacle Church of Jesus Christ International, we just want to give you the word of encouragement that as you have seen prophecy fulfillment upon your life, indeed the word of God can never fall on the ground. We just want to encourage you that you make the word of God a standard for your life so that the blessing you receive and the promotion will remain permanent. God will continue to take. Can you kindly tell us your name and where you are coming from? I am Maria Maluleke from Vusmus section. Sis Maria, can you please share your testimony with the church? Testimony, I mean, if I'm in Delalay. My testimony goes as follows. 
Papa Baba ba ni propheta aka prophetic Tuesday. The man of God, Apostle God Sanefale, once gave me a word of prophecy in on fruitful service. Eh ba ni mzela ile sa se endleka antirwen loko ni khantira ta ni loko ni try computer. He told me about the problems that I'm encountering when I'm working at work with my computer. Eh anhlangana na ku loko ni ri ku tirheni screen sha mina shi shaina ku nanga ku ti ku bona nchumo. I had a problem that whenever I would use my computer to become too bright to such a point that I could see anything. So Papa Babi Ebanu Kongelela from Sukurero and Tsaman Changanana na situation of Fananale. The man of God, Apostle God San Nefale, prayed for me and ever since Come on, somebody celebrate Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Our sister here is testifying. She's saying that the man of God, Apostle Gosa Nefare, gave her a word of prophecy. She was uh, having a problem at work. Her problem was she is a person who's always working with the computer. Hallelujah. The problem was whenever she would sit in front of a computer, she would sit too much bright. That means that she wouldn't be able to work. Hallelujah. So tell us, after the man of God prayed for you, how is the situation now? Yo, ni ni tani rna peace ngo vuku kun kota kutira kashi computer ana rna problem. So you are able to work? Yes. Ah, come on, somebody celebrate Jesus if you are hearing this testimony. <laughs> wow, wow. So when I was interviewing you outside, you also told me that you even bought sunglasses. Yes, in this one, I'm showing that stand glasses. Got it on phone. I got to use a computer. I'm in a car. Where are they? Me to see a move very unfortunately. I'm sorry. Do you still want to use them? No. You are completely free. I'm I'm very very free. I don't. I'm not allowed to go to the reza. Wow. Do you hear? It? She said that she doesn't want to use those glasses anymore. Come on, somebody celebrate Jesus. Sister, can you please share your test your second testimony with the church? Uh, testimony I'm in Umbiri, ya crossover. My second testimony is due to the crossover. Papa babuye ba bani prophet, ba ban chamarisin kache kache ko aninga shleke tangi. The man of God amazed me by giving me the word of prophecy. Babuye ba nubuti sakuri who is Chabalala. He asked me if I knew anyone by the surname of Chabalala. Nebabzela kuri chavalala is my husband. I replied saying that he is my husband. Ba continue ba kubabona bitu as PAT pet. Continue said that he sing PAT as a name. Eh nebabzela kuri his name is Patrick. I told them that his name is Patrick. So ba bula kuri papa ba bona kuri chama ikai olo ba lokusta kuri nta kunyikele na kirekin. The man of God, Apostle God, said Nefale stated that he sees us arguing when it comes to me offering your church. Leso akuri ntiyisi ku loko no blabla e kuri na laba ku ofara kere kene ba tanzela kuri malile itele ngovu. It was true because whenever I would speak to him that I want to offer something here church, you tell me that the man that I want to bring here church is too much. So you are trying to tell us that the man of God picked it in the realm of the spirit. He picked the argument that you always have with your husband in the bedroom. <laughs> That's true. Wow, this is clear proof that indeed the Holy Spirit searcheth all things. Can you please continue with your wonderful testimony? So, I know so let's say melele crossover. No, no, I'm in a remakaya. Look up, we are Tuesday. Ata na mina kereke inkwa. This thing happened on the night of crossover, and my husband was back home on the on Tuesday service. He also came to church. So it was his first time. No, sometimes one day is a ajika. Sometimes. Sometimes you come and drop me here. But this time he didn't come with you and dropped you here and left but he came and remained he came and listened to the word of god wow come on somebody celebrate jesus you can continue with your wonderful testimony so loko if you can do ini banzela kuri basu bona kuri la kerekeni ku spend wa mali o tala ngopfu se i can continue giving after we have left the service and went home he said to me that i can see how much things you have there did you hear that did you hear it? If you heard it, celebrate Jesus. So the argument between you and your husband was concerning offering and tithe. He didn't understand why you were tithing and why you were offering. 
Yes, that's true. But after you came with him, he saw for himself the work of God. And he became the one to encourage you to give more. And this, so oh, come on, somebody. Give God a hand of praise. <laughs> wow. This can only be God. So tell us, what word of encouragement would you like to give to the viewers who are watching at home and the church at large? Um, my word is, if we know how big our God is, we must stop fighting for ourselves. God is fighting for us. Indeed, the Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 20 verse 4, I am the Lord your God who goes with you and fight for you against your enemies and give you victory. So my sister, we as Tabernacle Church of Jesus Christ International, we celebrate with you. We rejoice with you for your victory and we give you the word of encouragement that continue to make the word of God the standard for your life. And what you received will remain permanent in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So tell us, what is the envelope that you are holding there? Uh, this is my offering. I'm oh. going to offer today for the second time. You this are going year. to offer? Yes. Ah, come on, somebody celebrate Jesus. <laughs> wow. We celebrate with you once more. We rejoice with you continue to come to church and continue to offer continue to tithe and the God that did it for you will do it for you permanently in Jesus name you can take your seat Shalom Aleikim can you please tell us your name and where you are coming from can you share your testimony with the church Okay, my testimony is about my boy. Can you speak louder? Testimony, I mean, you don't know I'm about you don't know I'm my uh, testimony is about my son. More August, Ubega Kula, then Mang Hambisa Espelela, Bam Che Kabar Une Bronchitis. On August, he was sick. When I took him to the hospital, they checked him and said that he had a certain disease. And then they said, Une infection, Guma Airwaves. Bam admit her for five days. They said he has an infection and was admitted for five days. My sister on Facebook Mama. While he was in hospital, I Facebook Mama Apostle oh. Kevin Nefali. And then one responder at the child will be healed. He will come out of the hospital. She responded by saying that the child will come out from hospital. And then after five days, Bam discharged. He was discharged after five days. Come on, somebody, clap hands for Jesus. When looking CI spelled every month, bang gets my appointment every month for checkup. I used to go to the hospital every month and don't give me different dates for the checkups. We will look at them check then on Tuesday we appointment yeah can I spell on Tuesday it was his appointment, I went to the hospital. Man figure is belly labam checker, they said see a good x-ray. After they checked him on Tuesday, they said he must go to an x-ray. We x-ray, but we have now check who would change now. They wanted to see if there was any change. Are cause le bronchitis usually he also end up in my tonsils. Because this disease usually may make him to end up having tonsils. So if it's bad, they will book him for operation. They wanted to check if the situation is bad. If it's bad, he was supposed to be booked for an operation. Man, figure X-ray. I'm check. I went back to the doctor. After they've checked him on the X-ray, we went back to the doctor. The doctor, my figure, I pick X-ray. Yet everything is all right. He's Come on, somebody, clap hands for Jesus. You said that your, 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 your child had an infection on the airwaves, is that yes. correct? Yes. But after being prayed for by the man of God and after speaking to mama, he was healed completely. Yes. Now there is nothing, there is no infection. Yeah, infection has disappeared. Yeah. Come on somebody, clap hands for Jesus. <laughs> Viewers all over the world, you can see the child. Just watch your screen. This is the child that had an infection on the airwaves. You can see the child on the screen had an infection on the airwaves, but after being prayed for by the man of God, Apostle Godson Nefal, and after speaking to Mama, 
evangelist came in fale the child was healed completely now the, the the infection has disappeared to the glory of god let's clap hands for jesus <laughs> can you just explain to us how was it affecting the child what is it that uh, what was af what, what, what how did it affect the child this situation at the beginning of this thing he couldn't even breathe he would breathe very painfully and at the hospital they would monitor him. Viewers of the world, you can hear uh, that this situation was actually affecting the child. The child couldn't breathe and then he, they, they had to uh, put oxygen machine. Is that correct? Yes. Is that correct? Yes. They had to put oxygen just to help the child to breathe. Yes. But after being prayed for, now the child is healed completely. Yes. Let's clap hands for Jesus. We as Tabernacle Church of Jesus Christ International, we rejoice with you. We thank you for the mighty healing that you have received. We just want to give you the word of encouragement. As you run to Jesus, continue to run to Jesus when every situation arises and God will bless your life and he will help you in Jesus' name. You can take your seat as clap hands for Jesus. Please tell us your name and where you're coming from. Can you share your testimony with the church? My testimony is that the previous year I had lost my job. And then the man of God, Apostle God, Sunday Father, prophesied on one of the Sunday services that there is a woman, there is a, 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 a Sutu woman who is going to receive a job. On the 26th, when we went to an all night prayer at Ivory Park, the man of God said that everyone who is coming here will go back home with what they, they came here for. When I came back on Saturday, they called me back at work. Come on, somebody, clap hands for Jesus. You said that you, you lost your job last year. Yes. And then the man of God prophesied that there is a Sutu woman who's going to receive a job. Is that correct? Yes. Can you tell us, are you a Sutu woman? Yes. So you are a Sutu woman? Yeah, yeah, I'm Come on, somebody celebrate Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. So now you are waking to the glory of God. Yes. What word of encouragement can you give to viewers or watching a room in the church? What can you say to them? Hallelujah. My word of encouragement is that I just want to tell you that pay attention, listen, and then don't lose faith, and all shall be well. Let's clap hands for Jesus. We as Tabernacle Church of Jesus Christ International, we rejoice with you. We thank God. This shows you that God knows you by name. And as God has located you and given you a job, we just want to encourage you. Continue to follow Jesus. Make his way the standard for your life so that what you receive will remain permanent in Jesus' name. God will continue to take you from glory to glory. You can take your seat. Let's clap hands for Jesus. Can we all stand up in the presence of God? And